sea mosaic title name of the project comes from CMOS. This is the, the existing technology for, for making the integrated circuits in a computer. The second part of the name of the project, Mosaic, is uh, re representing the three-dimensional part of, of such an architecture. So the idea is how to combine together the CMOS type of technology in three-dimensional to actually make a three-dimensional type of, of computer chip as opposed to current two-dimensional computer chips. And there's various challenges involved here. Basically, the idea is to go to a three-dimensional geometry, so there's a simple diagram shown up here, and the idea is having a, 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 the, the computer circuit on each one of these levels, and you can see the cooling channels which are in between. Also, between these cooling channels, we have through silicon vias, which are, which are taking the signals from one level of the microprocessor to the next level uh, of this. And the fluid would be coming in on one side and perhaps coming out the other side to have, have integral cooling inside of this. Now, where does this fit into nanoterra? Well, actually, what we're trying to do is bring something on the order of, an, of a terra number of functional units within one cubic centimeter. Uh, this, has a, this has a density of something on the order of a human brain. I wouldn't know whose human brain, whether it's mine or George Bush's or someone else's, but we're talking about, uh, about quite a complex system when we get to the other end. We also would like to resolve some of the problems that are in existing computer technology. One of these is, is energy consumption, so we'd like to re greatly reduce the energy, energy consumption, and we'd also like to increase uh, the capacity. So part of that is also then involved with, you can see a diagram over here, it has wire length. Well, in two-dimensional two two design, which is shown here, you can imagine putting, laying out chips out like this in a two-dimensional form, all of these chips need to interact with each other. Where if I go to 16 cores, you can imagine the distance it takes for a signal to go from here to here it is one of the slowest aspects of the whole process. It's also all of this wiring that's going back and forth is also generating heat. It's consuming electricity and it's also generating heat, which then requires more cooling power to take away. So the idea then in the end is actually to go to three dimensions where we bring all of this much more compact, we solve the wiring problem, we reduce energy consumption, and we also go to higher performance. But we actually need to do that all together. But the other problem is we may end up with two to four kilowatts of heat to be taken away in one cubic centimeter. This is a very high heat flux. So this simple diagram down here shows actually a hand pump over here to pump the fluid around. So, but actually, the, it will actually bring either liquid water inside of the, of the 3D chip to take the heat away, or will take a refrigerant which is coming in and partially evaporating and taking away the heat by latent heat to take the heat away in order to achieve high thermal performance. The other objective of this project is also to make multi-talented PhD students. Obviously, each one of these students will be specialized in his own field of research, but by putting them together, we'd, we'd also like to make up of essentially the first pool of multi-talented PhD students who actually are very finely tuned to 3D computer chip technology. Music that triggers some kind of response.